What are those? <laughs> Let's do it. What's up everyone? Back with another vlog coming at you in the fast lane. Uh, we're going to the National Enduro. I'm not even sure what it's called, Cross Fork PA. I'm, I'm not even sure what the race is called, but uh, we're en route right now. We got the trailer. Uh, it's actually my second time pulling my trailer. I bought this thing back in like January or something and I just gave it to my mechanic uh, so he could haul my stuff, my parts, my bike, everything. So. Uh, Got it from him in the last race, so he didn't have to pull it all the way back to North Carolina and then back to PA, so, um, yeah, we're, we're pulling the trailer this weekend, only for only for one uh, leg of the trip. But, coming to the National Enduro, um, I feel pretty good. This week, uh, had some good practice, and, uh, yeah, when I did this race in 2018, I did it really well, so, Hopefully I can just take that energy and that momentum from, you know, four years ago and whatnot and put it into tomorrow. Hopefully I have a good weekend and uh, keep the streak alive. That would be pretty nice. So, um, yeah, we're going to have no cell phone service, so it would be nice. Maybe Taylor will talk to me for once instead of being on her phone. So, oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, that's about it. We're just going to go there take you guys along. So... Made it to the race. Dylan's testing out the one wheel. Oh, he's got it. He's a pro. So, had to ride the practice bike Thursday. Had to wash it. Oh, it is the race bike. Sorry. I feel like I did pretty good at cleaning it. I took my time. What do you think? Scale to one to ten. Uh, six and a half. Oh my! I thought I thought you were gonna say six to nine. Look at all these water spots. I didn't wipe it down. Dirt. It was so muddy when I practiced. Boiler. I'm just kidding. It wasn't that bad. This is more like it. This is the real side of being early to National Enduros. The thing almost took off like... <laughs> Dylan's still riding the one wheel. It almost took off down the hill. With you on it? Like that. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> you have to lift your foot it off did. of it. It shut off and then when I got off it kicked back on. Sign up is done. Stickered up. Reviewing the route sheet right now. Time sheet, whatever it's called. Looks like we got about 37 miles of racing and 65 miles of total riding action. You gonna race for me tomorrow? Yep. Uh, we're not sure actually. I think we're lost. Are you sure you're lost? Yeah, we'll just keep going. We'll okay. <laughs> the track is up here, right there. We're all the way down here. <laughs> you sure you're going the right way? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this does not look like the map that Timmy drew. Oh, Timmy is in charge of that drawing. So for the, those of you tuning in that don't know National Enduros, uh, you have support vehicles that chase you throughout the, the whole race. So Dylan, Dylan will see me six times tomorrow um, at six different spots, at least that we think. Um, so right now we're just driving to those locations, knowing where we're going to park, knowing where I get on and off the track. Um, but it seems like we're 15 miles away from the, the pit. 
Seems, seems like we're 15 miles away from the pit, and uh, we haven't really made any progress on what we're gonna do, so. Uh, there's a lot of transfers this weekend, and uh, it's gonna make Dylan's job a little bit tougher. So test two and test six was back there where we're at. Van life in it. What do you think? I'm ready to go to bed. So we're van lifing it this weekend. We got Mark and Debbie there feeding us. <laughs> but uh, the hotel's like an hour away from this place. So I didn't really want to get up at 5.30 just to come here to race for one day. So uh, Dylan's at the hotel, but we decided we're gonna camp out in the van use the couch, use the generator that I never use. And uh, what's it called? Um, glamping? glamping? Glamorous camping, that's what they call it. So I hear it in a pasture, post it up in the van. Fun times. Good morning. Hi. Wash my face this morning. This is what happens, you gotta use gallon water. It's about 7.30. Dylan's supposed to be here any minute. And uh, kinda get the show going for the day. I think rider meetings, riders meeting is at uh, eight or 8.15. So I wanna go listen to that, see if we need to hear anything important. And then start getting dressed and everything like that. It's gonna be a quick day. I think the timesheet says we're gonna be done at like 1.40 with the transfers. So it'd be like two o'clock when we get back here. It'll be a pretty quick day. But uh, yeah, ready to eat some breakfast now. Packing parts. So we taking the van to service. Yep. All right, so it's game time, 9.05. Gotta uh, get on my bike, look, warm up a little bit, and then head to the first test. So um, yeah, let's get this day started, let's do it. Ooh, it's slick out there crashed once and I did this bonehead move I like hit this log feed off the pegs but to only lose that test by seven seconds I'll take it I feel good in the woods just the uh, the fields were so slick and I went down went down I went to spin around my bike stalled and then I was holding my front brake it was a cluster but <laughs> pit crew wasn't there to support me in the last test we couldn't but i got gas from ktm and a water from dawn so i was all set i we don't have service to check how i'm doing but i kind of know just because nelco is behind me so i stop and get his time um haven't been really riding that good besides that test i really ripped that one uh a couple things i need to touch up on but yeah i just gotta um I gotta push the track, my bike handles a lot better when I'm aggressive, so. Um, it's rocky, it's tough, but halfway through the day. I'm gonna sit in the shade. Oh yeah. I have never rode a test with my feet off the peg as much as that last test. 
I'll be all right. Day is done. Hanging out with your new friend. Got a pretty bass trophy. You can't see his head. There you go. The rattlesnake. Typically, they just give uh, the top three of Pro One some cool trophies, but I've gotten some pretty cool trophies this year. She's eating. But uh, yeah, good day all around. Started off pretty. Uh, Pretty mellow, nothing too sp spectacular. You started off scaring us all. Yeah, just uh, fourth the first test, third the second test, and then I finally got into a groove and put on some time, like much needed time on the guys. And then, um, yeah, <coughs> kind of a rough day, but luckily I was able to put time when I could and then uh, came home with the win. So, yeah, another national enduro down, five in a row.